What up you guys? So I got a question from a viewer. So we're gonna talk about that, right? <coughs> okay, cool. So uh, he writes, hey Lloyd, I'm writing because I'm lonely and haven't been able to achieve my potential in life and with women. I am so worried about rejection and don't want to grow up looking back on my life knowing that I could have done better. How can I avoid thinking like this and not end up an old man full of regrets and alone? Cool. So I get this question probably about a couple times a week, something like that. Or maybe there's a comment in there on a YouTube video. Yeah, I get that all the time. Uh, this is pretty common, and it's a very real fear that a lot of guys feel. You know, what happens when you grow up, or if when you, a lot of you are growing up right now, what happens when you get old and you look back on your life and you start thinking, God, you know, I wish I had done this, or I wish I had asked that girl out, or, you know, I wish I had spent more time doing X, Y, Z, okay? Basically, you live a life that's full of regret. And for me, this fear was so powerful that it really drove me to accomplish a lot of the stuff that I did. It still drives me. It's still something that I think about, you know? Like when I'm on my deathbed, I wanna be at peace knowing that I did everything that I could do in life. And for me, with a lot of my insecurities, with a lot of my issues with women and with dating, I knew that that was going to be at the forefront of what I was trying to do. And for a lot of my clients, that's a big thing too. You know, I asked them like, hey, let's say, you know, you come through my program or you, sorry, you don't come through my program. You don't really figure this part of your life out. How do you think that's going to make you feel? And for a lot of guys, it's like, you know, I probably won't be happy. I probably will live a life full of regrets. I'm probably going to, you know, have a tough time having the will to live, you know? This is a very important area. For a lot of guys, it's, you know, literally their happiness, how happy they're gonna be later on in life. So if you don't wanna be the guy who's living in full of regrets alone on his deathbed, then I highly recommend that you start taking action, okay? <laughs> don't let your fear, this guy says he has a fear of rejection. Don't let your fear of rejection stop you from taking the things that are gonna prevent you from living a life of regret. I've said this before and I will say it again. Rejection is far better than regret. You know, you walk up to a girl, you say, hey, how's it going, my name's Lloyd. And she's like, ugh, I got a boyfriend. She walks away. You're like, ugh, go back to your friends. Stings a little bit, okay? You know what really stings? What really stings is the pain of, you know, being alone getting into a marriage that's just not fulfilling for you, where the woman doesn't respect you. Maybe she cheats on you and now she's gotta like, she takes half your stuff, takes the kids, whatever it is, now you're 55 and you're divorced, okay? And by the way, if you're 55 and divorced, it's def definitely not older. Like 55 is not a bad age for a guy. Like you can still do really, really well. I have plenty of clients here in my program that are doing that. But think about how that would feel. The sting is gonna be a lot more for that than it would be for the other situations, okay? Getting rejected is fine, dude. Getting rejected is part of life. Any successful person who's ever done anything deals with a lot of rejection, but it's worth it in the end because that's how you get successful. Too many guys let their fear of rejection prevent them from doing the things that they need to do. I don't have very many regrets in my life. Yes, I have some. I've made mistakes. I've done things that I wish I hadn't. I've, you know, um, not taken opportunities that were presented to me, but I don't have very many of those because I have gone out and I have failed continuously again and again and again, trying to do something, trying to do something, trying to do, trying to make it. And when I kept trying, I learned and I did, and at least I was going out there and doing those things. Okay. There's a scene in House of Cards. I don't know if you remember this, but he's basically trying to pass a bill in the Senate. And uh, he knows the bill is like, has fierce opposition. No one wants it to go through, but it's like his only chance to maintain the presidency. And he's like, I know this bill will probably get killed in the House. I know it's probably going to fail. I know we have only a few months left to do this and no one else has ever, ever done this, but the least we could do is fucking try. And sometimes that's just what you gotta do. You gotta fucking try. 
And if you try, at least when you're on your deathbed, you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, hey, you know, I did my best, I did what I could do. But you know what's probably gonna happen? You're probably actually going to achieve it. Like, like I don't know anyone who's gone through life trying repeatedly that doesn't, that, that feels like, oh, I wish I, ha I wish I had tried less hard, you know? <laughs> like, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say that. But people do regret the missed opportunities there, okay? I myself, like I said, I've failed continuously. D dude, I asked, I asked a girl to prom in front of the entire class, my dream girl, I asked her to prom in front of the entire class and she said no to me. I was the laughing stock of the school for, for, for weeks. In college, I rushed the same fraternity three times and they told me none of the guys liked me and never to come back. Dude, I got rejected by like a girl who I had been friend zoned by for a full year, finally made it back, and then she ghosted me to get back together with her ex-boyfriend. It took me two years to get over that girl. I've, been, I've had coaches that I've had mentors that I've hired that have stolen money from me. I've done business deals that have gone completely awry. I put myself at a job for three years that I hated. That's a regret mo mostly, but also it, because I wasn't successful and it's also kind of a rejection. Thank God I'm not doing that job anymore and I'm doing this, okay? I have a lot of failures. I've failed time and time again and I will continue to do that. I will continue to go out and fail. And that's why I succeed. So if you don't want to live a life of regrets, Get out there and start failing. Get out there and start taking action. The next time you see that girl at the coffee shop or the grocery store and she makes eye contact with you and you do nothing, think about what you're gonna regret more. Think about what's gonna be more painful for you. The regret of you going home realizing, hey, you know what, I could have gotten that girl's phone number. I could be on an amazing date with her tomorrow, but I didn't take action. Or maybe you walk up to her, the conversation happens and it doesn't really go anywhere. Guess what, you're right back to where you started, but at least you put yourself out there. That little boost of confidence is going to fuel you for the next interaction. Which do you think is better? I know what decision I'm going to make. So homie, you ask the question, what should you start doing to prevent you from living that life of regret? And that's get out there and start failing, man. Don't judge yourself. It's fine. Everybody goes through this process. Anyone who has done anything in their life to be successful has been met with failure time and time again. Michael Jordan has so many quotes about this. Every successful person talks about this. And you know what? When they can rest on their bed, when they're about to die, they know they can look back at their life and say, hey, you know, I did good. I did what I was supposed to do. And yeah, sure. Sometimes the pain is temporary, but the sting and the like the, of regret that that eats at your soul, man. That eats at who you are as a as a as a man, as a human being, as a, as someone who lives on this planet. I feel it very strongly, and so I use that fear to take action. Taking action is the biggest threat to anxiety there is. So once you start getting up there and doing that, you're gonna start to be a lot, a lot less anxious. Stop asking yourself why and start asking yourself how. Start asking yourself, what can I do right now? How can I do this? Rather than why am I feeling so regretful? Why, what happens if you know, I, don't, I go through life and I don't do that? Okay? You have a decision, you can do this. And that's why I came out with the, with the approaching system, you guys, to give you the opportunity to start doing this. Do the assignments in the approaching system and I guarantee you, you're not going to be thinking about, oh, I wish I would have uh, taken more of my opportunities. It's there for you. I show you exactly how to do it. There's a section on approaching, there's a section on conversation, sexual escalation, all the stuff that you need. All right? So yeah, cool. And if you're not gonna get it, dude, at least get out there and start taking action. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow, we're gonna to be posting another video. Like I said, the launch for the approaching system is gonna be happening September 10th. This Thursday evening, we are going to be launching this. And I, I put my life's work into this, you guys. So if you wanna get access to it, sign on, click in the link box below. We'll give you the lowest prices. Um, I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.